This is the Apple's brand new iPhone 14 Pro with all the new dynamic island, camera, and nothing else. The 14 Pro comes with the same display as last year, compatibly with more nits of brightness. The display is quite fun for watching content. As usual, the stereo speakers are top notch on the 14 Pro with great bass. So, here's an audio clip. Apple designed a new type of notch and named it as Dynamic Island. So basically what it does was, it differentiates 13 Pro from 14 Pro. And the integration for the island was fun, which grabbed the attention of users. So the island integrates with different apps in different styles and it is one of the fun and not so useful feature on this phone. Always on display is not a new feature. It's been on the Android phones from quite a long time and calling it a feature makes it even more sarcastic. But at last, having that on the iPhone is cool so that each time I want to glance at the mobile, I don't need to unlock it. I can certainly say that the camera segment is new. Apple at last upgraded the main camera sensor from 12 megapixel to 48 megapixel, allowing more aperture and 4K cinematic mode. For the last seven years, Apple used 12 megapixel sensors and they now think it's time for an upgrade. So let's see some camera samples which I took. Along with the improved 4K cinematic mode, we also got the action mode which stabilizes the shot even if it is chittered or unstable. This video is being shot on the iPhone 14 Pro and this is how it looks and sounds and I pretty much think that this video quality was quite impressive. Like every year, we got the new chipset, this time named as the A16 Bionic. So basically there's a note I want to give you guys. Having a good chipset affects some major key factors in a positive way like how the phone performs, camera performance, battery efficiency and much more. So what I want to say was that it's not only limited to gaming. So here's a gaming clip for you.
So at last, if you ask me whether it's really worth the cost, I agree that it's a flagship mobile and there's nothing less expensive from the flagship. But still, I would say no, as the rumors suggest that iPhone 15 series is going to come with the Type C charging port. And if it really happens, then there are a lot of new possibilities that can happen with the iPhone. And also, Apple this year gave all the major key features to the 14 Pro models and they missed out on the 14 and the 14 Plus. I don't know why. And also, if you're a big fan of the so called Dynamic Island, then no one's gonna stop you buying that. It's fun, but still, it's an overrated feature. And if you think I missed any of the feature in this video, hit the comment section. Thanks for watching. Myself, Sampurth, and catch you on the next one.